Hey, it's James from Feeling Electrical, and today's video we're installing this fuse board for a subscriber. Let's get into this. Right, we'll catch up with his subscriber later then. So he used to be an electrician, so he's got, got some funny stories. He's going to tell us about some cabling, the old switch gear he used to install. He used to install these old Wilex boards. It'd be interesting. Maybe get some prices or I don't know. Some 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 old techniques, I don't know. But yeah, what we're gonna do then is get all this ripped out. So we've got one, two, three, four boards, and we're gonna consolidate that into one nice little brand spanker. So what we're gonna do then is rip out this this enclosure then and we're gonna sit the board here then. And then what the idea is, all the cables will come through the back here. So we'll put an adaptable box here, a bit of uh, 4B2 trunking up to the new board. And uh, yeah, we can extend all these cables up and all these loose anyway, so these will come into that, maybe the back of that trunking and up. Uh, but yeah, we'll try and make it a nice tidy job. First things first then, so we'll uh, talk to the uh, fuse board fairies and get this, get this supply killed. Now yeah, they've done a great job. So let's get this taken out. Look at that, easy peasy, right, that's out now. So then we're looking at consolidating all these in. So we've got a circuit, a little B16 for some solar. We've got kitchen sockets, kitchen sockets, little B32, B20. And then we've got a B16, B6. So down sockets, bathroom lights, little ICD, and then this oldie weldy uh, Wilex board. So reliable fuse one. So I think I'll have to read the report, but we've got lights, probably a cooker, and then two socket circuits. Right then, so what we're gonna do is take the lids off of these and then tally up what they'll be in the new fuse board location. So we've got three, uh, sorry, 13 usable words here. So we'll get those detailed out of what cable's gonna go where and then just tally on the cable, uh, which it'll be. And there we go, that's all these labeled up then. So we've got a few unknowns. So we'll See if we can find them, but they might be just cables for like ovens and showers that I've just capped off and just under a floorboard, something like that. But we'll look into that. But yeah, that's it. So, kitchen sockets, sockets, solar, kitchen sockets, kitchen sockets, down lights, lights, and then we've just got a few spares in. So, you always want capacity in case you want to add circuits in the future, you see. Yeah, so, I think these want an EV charger. So, we've got capacity there. That can just bang a double pole type A ICB on that and then just run a cable around with a bit of EV Ultra cable, so like a zappy, something like that. And then obviously you've got your SPD protection already. So this is all set up just to add a circuit on in the future. Alright then we'll get this all disconnected now then. So what we'll have to do then is uh, disconnect all these cables from the Hendy connector block and we'll give it a good tidy up. They're going to have a smart meter installed so we need to take that into consideration as well. So we'll have to position this and they connect the block somewhere, or it's not going to be in the way of the smart meter. Go on then, let's grab you then. Oh, this is what you want then when everything's dead. Imagine working in these boards, they're well tiny. I don't know how people did it back in the day. So you've got to try and get your earth into the board and then bend it in. We've compared that to a, a new fuse board, which you'll see there's loads of room to play with. So, yeah, I don't envy what they had to do back in the day. Look, it's all rammed in here, it's nuts. There we go, this is what they used to be made of wooden fuse boards. Nice ah, and flammable. So, when these set on fire, yeah, they, they did set on fire, you know. They want like a ball of goo on the wall. It was a, uh, yeah, a bit of kindling. That's good for it. <laughs> there we go. So we've got this little box on then. So what we've done, all the cables going to the back of that. That will get extended up the back of here. A bit of trunking up to the new fuse board. Unfortunately, I haven't got an angle grinder, so I'm gonna have to pick it up <laughs> off uh, off Graham and Ellis. It's, been a, it's a nightmare working out of a car, isn't it? On the road again. No one here beside me. Right then, oh, back it wipes car. Oh, all they need is a little piece of uh, chunking. And look, absolute massive. <laughs> Had to chop it down in, in all sale of car park. And everyone just like, what are you doing? 
There we go, we'll be great when I listen out. Let's see how we're getting on. If you remember from last week's video, we rounded the fuse board here, so we'll, uh, we'll have an even closer look up. See how Brian did. How are we doing? Huh? And this has been on the floor. You're like a brush, you get a red, don't you? <laughs> Should I bring up that photo? Yeah, funny that. I get a, I get a... It's so tight. I get, a, I get a, a message from Graham. I thought, I thought the customer's cat had gone under the floor. <laughs> Just me. I was like, oh no. And then I saw Finny Electrical though going back and I thought, and then I was like, oh, that's Ellis's head. <laughs> what did he put? But Ellis is having a great time with his life. <laughs> yeah, this is Brian Sandy work then. Look at this, solid. Look at that sexy little install. Look at that little free actual sticker. Look at that, beautifully, Brian. Look at this, looking beautiful, Graham. He's done a good job, hasn't he? Oh, I need some steam as well. He's only done a good job because I did it. Yeah, oh, did he? He did it. He did it. I think you got two angle grinders, didn't you, in there? Can't mind. Shot another blade for you? Yeah, I will do, yeah. I love that. <laughs> Alright, then, so on this job, then, they had to do loads of single sockets to doubles. Oh, nice, neat job, really. To say they've had to chop around the wall. So they've got like a plaster in to sort a few bits out. Look at that, another, another nice neat one down there. But yeah, sometimes the wall just explodes and if the plaster's a bit loose, it'll just try to get the box out of the wall. It just absolute makes a right mess. But they've done a really good job there. Very impressed. But yeah, something like this then. Pull the box out of the wall and stuff pops out left, right, centre. That's great. Yeah, then let's get pick up some uh, cakes and coffees for the customers. Oh, just a cake maybe. Yeah, I'll just give them a cake, but look at this wide whip it. Oh look at this, we've got social media king over here, the wide whip it. <laughs> look at them, coffees and cakes. Oh yes, I think we'll have some of them. There we go, wide whip it. Mm. Smooth. What the heck, a robot delivery. <laughs> look at this. Little robot wheels, what is it? Josh zoom in on this, I wanna see what it is. Yep, I deliver groceries. How cool is that? <laughs> hey, how mad is that? Wakefield in the future. Alright then, angle grinding time. Yeah, I got the customer a cake. That'd be nice to share out. So I think there's about four of us here. Get a nice little quarter to myself. <laughs> here with Alan then. So Alan used to be uh, Sparky back in the day. So what 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 year was it then? 65 when I started. 65. Well, as apprentice then. As an apprentice, yeah. yeah. As an apprentice then, so yeah, he we, would tell me about some st stuff earlier, how, how he, he yeah. was totally different back then. So he was saying about capping and casing, so what's capping that then? Capping and casing. It's uh, like a wood capping that goes over VIR cables. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and dolly switches with uh, mattresses on. Were they the, the brown ones then? The big round ones, yeah. Really, right, yeah, right. the mattress out and... Uh, so you had wooden back boxes, I've seen a lot of them. You had wooden wooden back boxes, yeah. Wooden, I've been to our jobs with wooden old and fuse boards, fuse neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, worked in mills with 200 volt, two phase, four wire system. Really? Wow, wow. Two neutral. Yeah, two yeah. Two phases. It were 200 volts like. Yeah, uh, And we used to do change over voltages up to 15, uh, 415. And wow. uh, that's what I call Fuse neutrals out of every board yeah, and yeah. put neutral blocks in. All oh, right, you know, right. Change out, switch gears over, and uh, the old Ellison breakers, you know, the old yeah. fill breakers, you used to take all them out. Because you see a few of the older brands that were like, uh, we see yeah. a lot of like Bill switch gear. Yeah, know, like, Bill switch gear. The big, big, junky yeah. isolators, yeah. We, yeah. We, we, we were showing yeah. them on, on last Met video. Cast, cast switches, yeah. Some of them are, have asbestos in. Uh, and Prento, you know, used to do Prento switches. Right, there. right. Yeah. Screw a lead cable. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say, they will do a lot of lead twin. cabling back then, won't they? So, so was, was the lead the earth? Yeah, then? lead, lead sheathing with your path return, and it had obviously two yeah. cores in it, and no earth wire on it or out. Was there any kind of like, uh, you should be touching your mouth after this, or didn't you know, you know what I mean? That lead, no, that, no, that, no, not like that. We didn't wear gloves or not like that. Lead poisoning, what a thing about then? No, I didn't just... wear gloves, didn't wear masks. <laughs> not, not back in there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's interesting. But yeah, yeah, giant boxes, there were no way go stuff, obviously. And then, what about them twisty nuts then? The 
you remember what in America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they call them my nuts over there, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they call them screw nuts. Screw nuts, yeah, yeah, that's what they were called, yeah. Because you used to put your cables in and twist it on like... Or so, well, did you have like 30 yeah. amp ones or 50 yeah, amp ones? Yeah, like, they were made out of pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a ceramic. Like porcelain like. Yeah, yeah, that's Porcelain connectors with, you know, brass terminals and... You were saying there were no earth delights, weren't you? Yeah, uh, no, no. well, it just weren't in regs then. No. I mean, it were, in tradition in 65. Yeah, so as long as it turned on, <laughs> they don't know. Yeah, testing. yeah, they used to have a, they all wind up mega and uh, yeah, yeah, test, yeah. test it like, and uh, not always test it sometimes. Yeah, you yeah. Switched it on and if it, if it worked, if you, it you, banged, it were, you know, you, went were, you have a fault and if it if it didn't bang you, yeah, were, yeah. it were all right. <laughs> like, but, uh, and then rewires and how long do they take their yeah. I've seen them where they've, oh, we've got like, they're all single back box aren't they so you have to yeah. hammer and chisel it or? oh yeah hammer and chisel yeah yeah there were no chasing machines no you know, no just, no but uh, usually on big jobs labourers used to ch- do your chasing oh no they're right You'd have a labourer. Yeah. And then, how, how, long, how long would it take then to do one socket then? So for us, it's normally, you've got 40 minutes to get your cable in, yeah. chop a back box in, and then go off to the next one. Well, it, it was different in them days because uh, you had to go down floorboards. You didn't, yeah, yeah. You didn't have a multi-tool. You, know, no, you no, used no. to have to go down with sash knife. All and right. And then prise it up, saw, saw it across joists like, and... Is that how you used to do it then? Lift, lift, lift it? Uh, yeah, you used to have to go right down. There were no multi-tools or all like that. I mean, uh, there might have been circular saws, but it, it was just hammer and chisel. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's interesting. Old earth loop impedance tester. Right, right. It was a big massive box like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it was all analog, uh, the reading scale. So, 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 all so, so you had to look, look up number, right? Yeah, so it's, to, it's about under one ohm. Yeah, you used to, you used to <laughs> zero it, press the test button. Yeah, analog meter used right. to go, and if it were under one arm, it were you know it were all right. Like yeah, that. no, that's interesting. That yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, he also mentioned about some uh, this, this old fella. Then how did he used to test them? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, used, you'd have to name names, but uh, I used to work with an old kid that uh, he used to have right hard skin on his thumb. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, he never used a test lamp or all no. like that because we didn't have multi testers no. in them days. We used to just use. A BC lamp. Oh, really? As long as you're testing your phases, as you know, face to neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face to earth. Never, never. If it turned on, you, you never two phases. Right, right. Is that used to do it? Two forty volt lamp would blow up in your face if you did. Yeah, that. but <laughs> you used to have little pig, red pygmy lamps. In right, right. With two leads so, coming so, out. But... So it was a light bulb that went on, and that, and that's yeah, how you knew if it, it was alive or not. Yeah, it was a light bulb. But yeah, this, that's interesting. That this old kid, he used to, uh, he used to say, turn the light on. And you'd turn it on and he'd put his thumb in, in lamp on <laughs> across the two pins yeah, and he'd yeah. say, oh, it's live, is that? <laughs> and uh, when I was apprentice, this other guy said to me, don't you ever do what, what he, he does, because yeah, yeah. he'll kill you. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> even even with checking bus bar covers off, yeah, yeah. he used to just put his finger on bus bars really? when they were live. And he used to go, right, that's yeah. live, that's live. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is it, nuts, it, isn't it? it? Absolutely crazy. But no, that's great, that's really interesting. There we go, cake time, let's, let's give it a... Mm. I told you it was uh, super soft. What do you think, ten out, what, mark out of 10 then for your cake? Lovely. 10, yeah, 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. <laughs> there we go, 10 out of 10. There we go, safety first then. So I've marked up where the 4x2 is gonna, gonna sit. We'll just get this little chopped out, get it grommeted up, and then we'll get this ma- this fuse box mounted. There we go, that says box mounted then, that's absolute solid, this is for the ping. There we go, gum it straight up. So we're going with the slim line today, and obviously, we'll get this piece of trunking up. I'll we'll just chop it down in line with the top of here, the cables can come up and into it. But that will sit on the, like that against the back wall, and then finish up nicely once you get the lid on it should be a nice little neat sweet job we still get fixed in the top and the bottom should still be able to get fixed in the bottom with some longer screws so let's get it softened up we'll get that chopped down we'll get this installed and once that's installed we can start extending these cables in. absolute sweating it's like 20 odd degrees today another 30 degrees it was 31 degrees yesterday so it wouldn't surprise me if it's not that high again but yeah oh might need a little 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 cool break, get in the car, get the aircon on. Hey, we're getting there with this tangled mess, look at this. Got loads of cable in here, so we're going to extend these up to there. So we've got, we've got these, we've got four two fives in a one mil. We're banging down, they should be long enough. 
Show you what I'm hoping this little sausage will fit down here. Will it fit? Here we go, so we've got some tails in there looking brilliant. So next piece of trunk has gone in just to kneel it up a bit. And then this is the old fuse bar, then we'll be extending these cables then. So what we're doing then, just extending it. So core to core, all the way up the top. These are all numbered so we know what, what's what. So once this is done then we can actually do the fuse bar change over, get all these into the earth's neutrals and lines, and that will this one done. So let's crack on. There we go, that's that box all sorted now. So that's as extension so obviously the cables come up we didn't want it just tacked up there we thought we'd put a bit of trunking up up just to make it a bit neater because it steps back we thought we might as well get, it, get the cables up through the back and straight to this so again that's a bit neater then i've chamfered this so those cables go up so it's about as neat as you're going to get it without having cables just tacked everywhere and looking messy messy so there we go so that's all the cables in now so all we have to do then is uh get all the earths in so what, what i generally do is bring them up across three fingers out two fingers up and then uh, obviously it's all RCBOs, so the RCBOs will clip in, the neutrals will come along and sweep in, get tie wrapped, and it's just live and neutral then just coming along and in, coming along in, coming along in. So it should look nice, neat and sweet. There the earth's in then, look at that. So we've got to, a few want long enough, so we've got to just extend through the bottom, but yeah, that's looking really neat. So we've got all oh, these to go in now, into the RCBOs then. So let's get this gear tray in then, and I'll get these up the back. And then we start getting his ass in and get this wired. There we go, that's on the circuits on then. So they've nicely just come in and swooped in. So because they all come up this side, they're all like oh, having to kick over. So normally we like to kind of run along and then in. But in this case, we can't do that. Yeah, it's looking super neat and smooth, that, isn't it? And then we've got these extends down here, which can't be out. But yeah, that's looking great. What are you doing with my customer there? What do you think you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> there we go, that's it all in then. Yeah, everything's laboured up lovely. It's not too bad, we had a few unknown circuits, we're going to leave those off. If you notice anything not working, we'll flick it back on and then we actually know what they're actually doing. So, but yeah, that's everything so hard, looking sweet. Uh, that's us done for today then. Oh, crikey, that was hard work in the back of that cupboard. But we got it done and it looks really good. So obviously we had to consolidate four fuse boards into one. So that was a bit of a bit of a task, wasn't it? We saw a robot delivering food, which was <laughs> interesting. Like uh, you know, Star Wars like R2D2. <laughs> it's just you know what I mean, bobbing about. That guy actually loves Star Wars, so he'll love that reference. There we go. May the fourth is coming up two days' time. May the fourth be with you. Yeah, so it was really interesting then hearing a, an old school Sparky tell us and share his, his experience and stories so he had some really funny stories actually which uh, i can't tell but uh we're gonna do a zappy one he might he might tell us some more stories then if he comes down <laughs> but yeah if you if you like this kind of content then hit the like button hit subscribe hit this little bell notification so you know when we next upload so as always have a good one from me and we'll see you on the next one can't believe that dog ate me egg custard huh?